welcome to the Lumberland Bowling League. My name is Johnny Rash and we are here at 204 Lanes in beautiful Harvard, Massachusetts playing some thrilling games of candle pin bowling. Now candle pin bowling is a little bit different than normal bowling. The pins are a little bit thinner, the balls are a little bit smaller, and the game is a little less fun. The way that candle pin bowling works is each bowler has three rounds per frame to get as many pins down as they can. This coming series we have four games coming to you to see who is the best in the office at candle pin bowling. Our first game is a really great matchup. We've got some really great competitors going today. Our first game is Casey versus Bryant versus John, and what should be a thrilling match. So stick around to see who wins and who will go on to the finals to compete for the best bowler in the Lumberland office. Let's go to the game footage right now. All right, we are here with our first three competitors, John, Casey, and Bryant. John, we'll get the game going today. Right. Let's see how he does on his first bowl. Ooh, cuts a little left. Gets about three pins in the last one. Ooh, a much more centered throw there. Nets him four pins there as he talks about his leg kick. Remember, all contestants today get three throws per round. So they'll get three throws. Here comes John's third throw now. Straight on. Oh, just misses. So they'll get him a seven for his first throw today. John gets the scoring off with a nice seven piece. So here comes intern Bryant. Bryant making his debut. He goes quickly as he throws it right down the middle, knocking off three pins. Let's see how he goes on the second throw. Ooh, straight into the gutters. John heckles him from the bleachers. Much better time, second time around. Gets him another three, total of six points. Let's see that last one again. Hits the right pin, knocks down a couple. Here comes Casey to get his day started here. A good throw here from Casey, right to the gutters. That's your first one, that's your first one. Here, let's see how Casey can get better on his second throw. He calls a strike. And he corrects it, but still only gets two pins down. Ooh, right down the middle, and he only nicks a pin, gets him one, a total of three in the first round. So John, with the most successful first round of anyone, gets him seven as he'll go up again for a second throw here. Another three here. It looks like they're consistently hitting three pins on their first throws. John showing Sully his ball before he throws it. Let's see if it does not well. It does not as he throws it right where he threw the first one. Throw down the middle, knocks down four, another seven piece for John in the second round. Puts him at 14 and in the lead after one and a half throws. See how Bryant can do, one back of John after the first throw. Nice three there. Bryant works quickly, goes again, goes to the opposite end. John has some words of advice to get low for Bryant. And that does not work as Brian goes right into the gutter. Let's just see that last one again. Brian gets very low here. Look how low he gets, but it doesn't work out well for him. So here comes Casey. Let's see if he can rebound nicely after going a lowly three in his first throw. Ooh, late movement there on the back ones gets Casey a nice throw on the first on his first time. Oh, wobbly a bit there. But he gets him two. Casey far back from the edge of the lane. And he gets him right into the back net. A nice six piece here from Casey. So John in the lead with 14 right now. See how he can do. Ooh, not what you want to see with the lead. 
was not low enough, as Brian says. Keeps throwing it to the left side. I'm trying to figure out the game. So my shots were straight, but it's only got like two of them. He hits that same spot again. He gets two, which makes it open up for anyone else. Let's see the last throw one more time. Right into the open gap, and John not too happy with his performance there. He gets two pins right there. <laughs> it's not like regular bowling where you can get knock over other pins as Brian throws that one into the netting for no points there. You see his last throw goes. A good throw, and he knocks it down. Gets him another four for a six. I mean, the pins look more spaced out. How about to make a deal with you fellas? Dollar, dollar for the first strike. Dollar, you want to do a dollar? Yeah. Dollar, Brian? You got a dollar on you? Not on me. And it looks like some friendly gamesmanship is going on here as each person is wagering a dollar to whoever can get the first strike. Will it be Casey? Oh, a great throw from Casey. Gets him eight pins knocked over right after the bet is made. It's a great throw there from Casey. Let's see if he can get the first bear of the afternoon. He grabs his crotch and he clips the pin on the rest and gets him a spare. Let's see that one again. Casey throws it to the left side, uses the pin to knock him to the other one, and John absolutely loves it as his peanut gallery sees it. So after three rounds, we have John with 16 points, Bryant with also 16, tied at 16, and Casey in the lead with currently 19. Let's see what we can do after the spare. So here we got John once again, seeing if he can come back behind Casey. Oh, Only three man. back of the lead. And that will do him great. A nice six piece there, but he's got one pin all the way to the left side on the right. It would be a tough spare for John to get. Let's see if he can knock over some pins. Oh! Does it fall? Does it fall? It falls! What a shot! What a shot! In all my years of commentating candle pin bowling, that was one of the best shots I've ever seen. Let's see that one again. John throws it into the gutter. It hits a loose pin that was down, and all the other pins knock over the rest of the pins. John, truly ecstatic over the big shot. What a shot. Let's see the crowd's reaction. Brian can't believe it. Truly amazing. You gotta love candlepin bowling for that reason. Let's see if Bryant can copy as he's trying to keep pace with John. Oh, wow! A nice throw here. Oh, oh certainly oh, get. Oh! A nine and almost a strike. That was a strike. He That's almost easy got it. Spare, boy. Easy spare here. That's it. Oh! <laughs> unfortunate bounce as he hits the that pin that's blocking true. the last pin standing and he can't knock it down. There it is. Got it. Can you do it? Oh, he hits the other knockdown pin. He can't do it. So a great first throw. Let's see this one again. That last throw could have hit that last pin standing, but the ball just bounces off. The crowd can't believe it. So Casey's turn. Let's see how he can follow up that spare. Oh, what a throw. So that, uh, that's why we got so you, eight Johnny. goes to his last turn. Let's see what we can do here. Yep. Oh, oh, wow! wow. Oh, Casey Hamill so pulling away God. from the competition. Back-to-back -back spares in the first two rounds. Great throw here. He uses the knockdown pins to knock over a few more that are standing. And gets him that spare. So, John, can he copy Casey and go back-to-back -back with his spares? Oh, just a three. Not what you want to see coming off the spare. Can John knock over the rest? A good throw, but teach him how to keep him out of spare territory. Or spare-tory, as we like to say. He's going right in the gutter. Yep, right. Ah, you got my head! Ooh, Brian gets in John's head, saying it's going to go in the gutter. He gets one point, not in the gutter. But he puts it in a nice 36. Can we... <laughs> I don't I'm getting all the game confused. Can we just agree no more spares? So Bryant had a nice first throw, could not get that spare. But a great first throw here again gets him six. Bryant working quickly as always. Oh! Knocks over three more. He has one pin remaining. Spare Bryant. They call him Spare Bryant, as John says. And he knocks over 
toilet last pin. So that's a 10 piece, not a spare, as the candle pin bowling rules go. If you knock over the last pin with your third throw, it does not count as a spare, you just get 10 points. So Casey, back to back spares, can he go for a three peat? Ooh, a nice throw there gets him six. He has a good opportunity here to get that spare. Case, you're a natural. Come on. Oh, he cannot pull through. That one goes into the netting behind. Casey will need right. not going to go. I'm not worried. Let's see how he does. Ooh. Oh, he hits the fallen pin and uses it to get the 10, not a spare, but three throws in a row where Casey gets 10 We got a little competition. So you take candy from a baby. So let's see that one again. Casey uses that knocked over pin, knocks over the other ones, and he is loving it. Look at this little move he does here. A little jump spin move as if he doesn't know what he's supposed to do. How are you feeling, John? To be honest, I was feeling a lot better to start because they were doing real bad, and then like they just they found the sweet spot, and now it's like I don't, I think Casey's like ahead for sure. Let's we'll see if John can catch up with Casey. Not with that throw. Literally. Oh my God! Ooh, right into that netting. John loves that left side of the pins. You're rushing it. Take your time. You got this. Spare right this is a big one. Here. This is a big one. I can't get a spare. I yeah, it once like three turns. Like, oh, I can win this probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely turned from turn. There it is. Yep. There it is. Clean up. Nice clean up there. Gets him the last five pins down. Puts him at 44 and an eight on the throws. So here comes Brian coming off back to back nines. Wow. Can he get that tenth pin down? And a good one, knocking down, but a tough split there. He's got two pins on the left side and one on the right. The throw here. Oh, that last pin kicks over. Classic Kevin Dent, 7 10 See. Oh, he knocks over one pin. So three turns in a row. Bryant gets a nine. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride, as he cannot get that spare. Casey, how are you feeling about bowling today? I'm feeling much more confident. I was just telling him back there that it started off as friendly, because we were like, oh, like, what are we doing? Now it's head on, straight competitive. Uh, there you go. No prison. I'm feeling it. I wish you knew the score. All right, here comes Casey. Hot hand. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Oh, and that's not going to do him well. He gets to but Brian likes it. Brian getting really competitive today. That's a good throw right there. Gets him three. And into that netting again. So Casey falls from his heights and gets only a three after a spare, a spare, and a ten. So let's see after six where we stand. Bryant and John still tied at 44. They've been tied for a while. And Casey with a large lead of 12. He's at 56. Casey's pulling ahead with the lead as it goes on. So let's head back and let's see how John can respond. Can he pull ahead for Bryant and come in second? It's not a bad throw from John. A nice five piece for the first throw. Lots of pins still on the field. Oh, a nice knockover, but that puts him at a 7 10 split. Can John do the improbable and knock over the last two pins? He knocks over one. That ball tries to kick back and almost does, but it's unsuccessful. John gets himself a nice nine. Not a ten, but a nine. So here comes Bryant. Bryant has to keep pace with a nine to keep tied with John. And that's not a bad start to keep pace. A nice four there. Here goes Bryant again. Oh, he knocks over four more pins and puts him at eight. So he just needs one to keep tied with John, two to get a 10, and he cannot do it. So he's now one back of John for second place. Let's do that one again. How do you feel about that last throw? I expect more yeah, I definitely think all your money right off. Josh is throwing me up over there. He added the score up incorrectly. He said I was at tied or like below the 42, but I'm at like 56. 
Casey, looking Frank, for a score what, check. What, 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 56. Casey, I'm in his brain. Here we go. Go ahead, Casey. Get your the peanut your gallery trying, trying to mess with all the all players all here. You yeah, haven't seen this before. Can Casey keep out yeah, the noise? Keep out the <laughs> funk? Good spin, Casey. Good throw. Knocks down a few pins there. Good start to the round. Bad real estate, too. You want to get the pins lying down on there. John with the good advice. Ooh, a good oh, throw there. Gets him another four and sets him up nicely for an eight. Can get those last two down. It'll be a tough challenge. And he cannot. He goes to that right side once again. And he's at eight for the round. All right, time to come back. Here comes John. Sitting at 53 for the day. A good start. Going for the back right corner this time. John chooses his ball, the space ball. And he goes right into that left gutter. He overcompensated, trying to cut the difference now, see if he can go down the middle. Jeez, that was weird. Not me, that couldn't be me. Good. Right down the middle, oh, knocks over a couple pins. Three and three makes six and puts him at 59 for the day so far. So Brian trying to keep pace with John, coming in second place because Casey has a large leap as it is. And that throw won't do Brian too good. John likes it though. And he goes right into the gutter, gets a ball in the gut from the gutter, hit out. Let's see if he can. And he goes coast to coast, left, right, left. Gets them all ones. Three points for that round. Here comes Casey with a large lead. Bit of unsportsmanlike there. From Josh. Casey, that didn't count. Whispering in his backswing. Ooh, that pin just wanted to fall down, did its best. I'm gonna strike it. And that was right down the middle. I have no idea. Uh, pick it up, Casey. And right through the uprights. That's good for a field goal. But not what you want to bowl on. That Kevin screaming in your back swing, I felt bad. I control myself. Ooh. Calisthenics here from John. What's calisthenics in? Show up those jorts. And those jorts are looking nice today, John. Good job on the jorts. Ben, I want you to watch Great for Dirtbag Summer. As John calls out Ben, wants him to watch it. <laughs> Let's see if he can make Ben proud. That Ben! Not what you want to see. <laughs> Gotta get the corners cut off first. Yeah, get the corners out. It's like a puzzle. You always do the corners first. There it is. Oh, good throw right down the middle. Picks up a good amount of pins. He has three left. He has to hit that right side. Let's see if he can do it. The throw. Oh, into the gutter. But he gets seven. Sits him at 66 for the day. What you want to make sure you do, like in knee bowling, you kind of just inch to the left, you know? So Bryant needs a big round here to keep pace with John. And that's not going to do it. Another right, one. Sorry, Four straight throws right, with a one. Of, uh, Let's see if his luck can turn around here. He already got that oh, corner. he went for the same corner. He gets him zero. Oh, man. What a rough throw there. A one pointer. That's not what you want to see. Bryant, who started off very hot in the middle, finishing poorly. Clinch it here, pretty much. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. You got, I think you can win it here. Big momentum shift. Yeah. Oh yeah, three strikes, right? Three points. Three strikes are fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> Casey with prime opportunity to win it here. Wow. That looks good. A nice throw, but it only gets him three. Yeah. Casey has a clean throw here. Oh, that knocks over six pins. Almost with the spare. That was crazy. One last throw for Casey. Clean it up. Can he clean up that last pin? No, he can't. A nice yeah, nine for Casey. Start. That should cement him <laughs> as the champion. Let's see that second throw one more time. It just the pins hit right. The pins hit right and knocked over six pins. The crowd loves it. John, ecstatic as always. 
So John, his last throw of the day. Let's see if he can pull ahead from Bryant and cement himself into second place. Three strikes would give him the lead here. He's not getting that strike, but a spare would put him nicely. Could put him in a conversation with Casey. Oh, he can't do it. That will be it for John for the day. Seven points there. If he can hit another pin or two, it should put him far enough ahead from Brian. i will get him the second place. And he can't. A seven piece. Sets him at 73. Uh, nothing, not too bad for the day, but not good enough to win. So Bryant stuck at 56. Gonna need a miracle here. And he gets one pin. Another throw here. Right down the middle, gets himself two. So a little bit better from the last throw. R knocks over one, and that puts him at 60 for the day. Sick, four, four. Casey can win it here. I think I won it. Yeah. <laughs> so then I move on to the championship. Yep. So Casey taking his victory lap. He's already have more points than anyone else, sitting at 79 for the day. John already wrapped up his day at 73, and Bryant at 60. So there's not much more for Casey to play for here, just to run up the score. And the last throw is not going to hit anything, but it doesn't matter. Casey is your winner. I'll see you in the championship. Do you have any other words to say for the competition? I'd say start off friendly, but then once I started like hitting a spare and I started going in the spare, it got more competitive and I was just locked in from there. Oh, yeah. So Casey is your winner with 87 points. John finishes in second place with 73 and Bryant in last place with 60. A great day of competition here as our three competitors really put on a good show. Bryant had that middle part that really put him behind John. Let John pull ahead for the 73 point but Casey is the story of the day. Those two spares in the middle of the game really pulled himself ahead and let him take home the championship. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back next week with more Lumberland Bowling League.